Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam Ala Nabiya Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da Habita fillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned fi kitabihi al-kareem about the importance of being from the ibadullah al-saliheen amongst the righteous worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship him and him alone. And from their traits, no doubt, as Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala mentions, is that there are people of knowledge. And this is why Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala has raised Ahlul Ilm, the ulama, to such a high level of status. To and mentions them in the Qur'an that they are the ones who think and reflect upon the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are the ones who yustanbituna ahkam they're the ones who derive the religious verdicts because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored them over much of his creation and they are the Warath al Anbiya. They are the inheritors of the Prophets. Alayhim Afdal Salatu Salam. And this is why Allah Ta'ala says uh, in the Quran, Fi Kitab al Kareem, He mentions that they fear Him the most, meaning Ahl al Ilm. And that's because they have knowledge of how to practice and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has get, granted them fiqh, understanding, fiqh fi deen. And so Allah tabarak wa ta'ala mentions fi kitabihi al kareem. He subhanahu wa ta'ala says Qul hal yastawi alladhina ya'lamuna wal ladhina la ya'lamun inna ma yatadhakkaru ulul albab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem and again mentioning ahl al-'ilm and their fadl and their status and challenging the people with regards to the affair of Ahl al -ilm. and that's because Ahl al -ilm, they're not like the people of ignorance and the people who don't know the people who are jahil The people who cannot practice worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on ilm and fiqh. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, He says, Hal yastawi alladhina Ya'lamuna wa ladhina la ya'lamun Are those Who know Like those who don't know So Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala mentions 
that the people are not the same. Those who know are unlike those who do not know. And that's because of their level of knowledge. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is challenging and questioning, in fact, the people who try to make the people on the same level and the same status, meaning all people. So those people who have knowledge, meaning they have knowledge of the, the religion, practicing the religion, not just knowledge on their head in their head and not just hidden, but that they practice the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they are not like the, the people who are jahil or the people who have some knowledge but don't practice. They're not the same. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions, he says, so he mentions, he says, are those who know and those who do not know, so those who have faith, those who have understanding, those who have ilm, are they like those who don't know? Verily, the people of understanding, they reflect upon this. So the people of understanding understand, what do they understand? They understand that knowledge of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is what helps to distinguish you with your Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and amongst creation. Because that takes sacrifice to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala ala ilm wa fiqh wa basira. Unlike those who worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, they do worship Allah, but they're un ignorance. So, Ahlul Tafsir, they mention with regards to this, this verse, Kul ayyuhar rusul li ibadi alladhina amanu bi wa bi rusuli. So, this ayat is addressing, was addressing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam should articulate and say to the people, say to the believers, alladhina amanu bi, those who believe in me, meaning believe in Allah, and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was addressed to articulate to them, ittaqu rabbukum bi imtithal awamrihi wa ijtinab nawahi, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was to address the believers and exhort them to fear Allah, their Lord, by following His commands and avoiding His prohibitions. لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا مِنْكُمْ الْعَمَلْ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَحَسَنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا بِالنَّصْرِ وَالصِّحَةِ وَالْمَالِ that they should, that they would be assisted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if they are believing and practicing and they were perfecting their deeds, they would be assisted by Allah the Almighty. And with health and in their wealth. So this is an immense glad tidings if we can fear Allah, practice His religion and, and practice it based on and on knowledge. And in the hereafter, they will receive the reward of Jannah. So this is the reward. This shows how they're not the same. The people of knowledge who get all of this and the people of, uh, uh, of ignorance. And that the earth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is spacious. And that those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they're obedient to Him and they benefit from their time. In the night, they spend their evenings making sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, prostrating to Allah, worshiping Him, tabarak wa ta'ala. 
and they are fearful of his punishment. So those are the thamarat, those are that's what knowledge uh, that is the the fruits of knowledge that it should bring you more taqwa. And they remember and reflect on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they have knowledge. So are they the same as those who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Never. Those who do not do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders them to do, who do not practice tawheed, do not practice kitab wa sunnah, they're not the same. So those who do the wajibat, do that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has command them, commanded them, that they are not the same as those who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nor those who are on ignorance. And that shows us that the people of knowledge and the people of Iman have different levels. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put us on a high level of Iman with Ahl Iman, with Ahl al Ilm, and to be of those who inhabit Jinnah to Firdos, Bighayri Hisab, Wala Adab, Wa Sallallahu Wa Sallam. على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم